Committee reports, finance, candy. Yep, my announcement this evening at 6 30. Uh, motion to approve change order number one for JB JB Johnson Brothers for the East Fulton Street retaining loan project, um, which is an increase of eight thousand one hundred and eighty-four dollars and fifty cents. Second. Any discussion? You're getting that roll call. Sandy Davis? Yes. Braun? Yes. Langan? Yes. Shaw? Yes. Paul Davis? Yes. Verdict? Yes. Motion to approve final pay request for J.B. Johnson Brothers for the East Fulton Street Retaining Wall Project in the amount of $167,354.50. A second. Any discussion? Hearing none, roll call. Candy Davis? Yes. Shaw? Yes. Paul Davis? Yes. Burdick? Yes. Braun? Yes. Langan? Yes. Motion to approve pay request number one for KS Energy for the 2022 credit side lead lateral replacement project in the amount of 177000 $237.45. Second. Any discussions? None roll call. Candy Davis? Yes. Braun? Yes. Langan? Yes. Shaw? Yes. Paul Davis? Yes. Burdick? Yes. Motion passes. Motion to approve bills and payroll vouchers in the amount of $590.800. Excuse me. $990,801.27. I'll second. Any questions on bills? Hearing none, we'll Candy Davis? Yes. Shaw? Yes. Paul Davis? Yes. Riddick? Yes. Braun? Yes. Langan? Yes. Motion passed. And there were no license applications for, for coming before the committee. Uh, motion to approve. Contract was Lipstream for energy planning. Second. Any discussion? Hearing none, roll call. Candy Davis? Yes. Braun? Yes. Langan? Yes. Shaw? Yes. Paul Davis? Yes. Burdick? Yes. Motion passed. Motion to approve contract with accurate appraisal. For assessment services with a five year option A option. A second. Any discussion? What was the process or the discussion about um, putting it out for bid or looking at other providers? Well, we came to the committee, um, not probably last meeting, the meeting before, and asked the question of the committee and RFP. We're trying to negotiate a contract. Of our current vendor, so it was a brief conversation, but then we didn't get um, the authorization. Anyone else? Roll call. Candy Davis? Yes. Shaw? Yes. Paul Davis? Yes. Burdick? Yes. Braun? Yes. Langan? No. Motion passes five to one. A motion to approve. 2022 budget amended amendment for fire department budget discrepancy in the amount of $9,628 um, from the general fund balance to debt service fund. Second. Any discussion? Yeah, just, I, I mean, I, I know what we're doing, uh, the one, but can you explain that the ramifications of what, or what that? I, mean, I know why we're doing it, what we're doing, but what is the, is there anything to, to from one fund to the other, but what's that going down the road? Anything other than costing us $9,600, $9,800? Well, we committed, we committed to, um, in order to avoid the penalty, okay. we committed to increase our debt service in our levy limit worksheet. So that means we have to increase our debt service in the levy limit worksheet. So, or increase our actual debt service payment. So, the debt service fund would have a shortfall in making an extra payment of that amount. So, we're, the, the debt service fund in the, in the end it has to be made whole. So, we will transfer from the general fund and uncover it. 
And then next year in our process, we will rectify that again and make the general on full. So it was a it's gymnastics to try to avoid a penalty. That's what, okay, that's the DOR agreed. No, no penalty if we just pay it towards debt or put it towards debt. Correct. That way we don't lose in the long run. We're actually paying something off, right? Correct. That's, but we're just not something we plan on. Right. Yeah. So this was a we dropped ten grand for okay. Yeah, it was a workaround um to avoid an actual penalty. So debt service is on top of the levy, which is why we were able to use that line item on the form to say okay, we'll increase our debt service payout by that amount. And the, the, the negotiations are pretty much done with DOR or with uh, all the <coughs> areas you are working with uh, the uh, Mark and Linda boy with you. We had a conversation. Um, this is regarding the in the year if the consolidation occurs with the mm -hmm. other, that was primarily what that conversation oh. was about to try to um in the year of a consolidation there'll be an issue with CPI plus two, which is kind of the topic here. Which caused that so uh, Chief Pickering was um, trying to see if they could get a a pass basically on that and staff said no, they don't have that authority. So they'll pursue a legislative workaround. Okay. So but this doesn't stop them from doing it again next year. Um the, I mean, the district has a, can possibly, possibly do it again. Oh we not comply or have a budget yeah. problem. Yeah, have a yeah, well. Both the, the non compliance gave us well, issues. Right? Certainly, what, what happened here? And yeah, certainly the CPI plus two is a concern every year. Mm -hmm. You always hear the staff you know, complain about mm -hmm. that issue is very important given the levy limits. Um, the other budget issue, um, I assume that won't happen again. Okay, okay thanks. Anyone else? Oh. Candy Davis? Yes. Braun? Yes. Glayan? Yes. Shaw? Yes. Paul Davis? Yes. Burdick? Yes. Motion to ask. Motion to award the low quote of $3,000 to Cedar Court for my Albion survey work. A second. Discussion. Not roll call. Candy Davis? Yes. Shaw? Yes. Paul Davis? Yes. Burdick? Yes. Braun? Yes. Langan? Yes. Motion passes. And that's it for findings. Thank you. We have one item here from the Planning Commission. Uh, second meeting and adopt the City of Edgar Ordinance. So let's make that motion. Make it motion to approve the second reading and adopt City of Edgar Ordinance 22 05, repealing and recreating Chapter 23 of the Municipal Code pertaining to the Division of Land. Second. Any discussion? Hearing none, roll call. Burdick? Yes. Paul Davis? Yes. Shaw? Yes. Candy Davis? Yes. Langan? Yes. Braun? Yes. Motion passes. Let's go ahead and plan. That plan. See Wednesday night for that. Um, Historic Preservation Commission. Historic met this evening at 5 um, We had two items that we discussed. Uh, we approved the certificate of appropriateness for the um, renovations that are happening at 210 212 West Fulton Street, the project there. And then we also discussed further the uh, mural policy that we're developing. You guys will see eventually. Library board. Uh, library board met last Tuesday, the 12th. Um, had the majority of the, the meeting uh, revolved around the job description posting for Kirsten and, and the, the director position. Um, so we had some, uh, two of the members work on it. Uh, we edited it at some, and then we brought it, uh, that we're supposed to be bringing it over here. To uh, continue to ensure that we are within, you know, the, the, the right framework of what something like this should do. So um, that is uh, the majority of what we talked about at the library board. All right, thank you. These are all the person the staff reports. Okay, a couple of guys got a couple things they want to go over here. <laughs> um, I just want to mention that um, we did utility met. Um, basically, all we are discussing at this point is. Um, 
if I say the wording right, like um, credit refunding for um, active accounts. Um, you're probably aware that we do credit um, overpayments on accounts that have been closed, but there have been a couple instances where people have requested um, a refund on an ongoing, you know, they still have bills that are coming through and they've somehow overpaid. Um, so there's a discussion on how we're going to deal with those. So we'll be letting you know that soon. Briefly, <laughs> I'm more than Matt earlier tonight. Uh, just a, just a, a few, few things in, in uh, their new codification stuff uh, policy or proposals that went through that we're looking at for the staff. Um, sidewalk utilities was discussed again in the school in the works. Um, that'll be coming out later. And uh, staff report, I reported that a lot of the real work and uh, overlay is done and the comp composite or compost and brush pile out there is looking pretty good. You got to clean up. And there's still some left for residents. If you guys want to let people know, there's some self serve um, when it's open for for uh, your brush and or, uh, chips and and uh, compost. So, are there next? That's it. Brief enough for it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Speaking of public works, the public works uh, utilities included in this and the police department for all their services this weekend. It seems like it was a fairly successful festival and went by with few hitches, but it got done and probably one of the biggest shows in town in quite a few years. So I'd like to thank everybody for their, their efforts. All, all three of them because of the utilities in there. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> Does anybody else have anything? This Friday is the next night market, so just put the word out there. Four to eight p.m. Okay, well, if anybody would like to go into closed session, read that. Right. All right, I move that we go into closed session pursuant to Wisconsin Statute 1985 and deliberating or negotiating for purchasing of public properties, investing in public funds, or conducting other specified public business whenever competitive or bargaining reasons require a closed session to discuss and consider a land sale. Closed session. Langan? Yes. Burdick? Yes. Paul Davis? Yes. Shaw? Yes. Candy Davis? Yes. Braun? Yes. Is that our whole session? <laughs>